Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the new Arikario and also the new Tapu Lele moves which are just got pushed into the game. If I sound a little bit weird I just woke up and I always sound weird when I wake up so you have to deal with that but I went ahead and put them all into my local version of PA Poke so like Arikario for example is at the current time not even like even the normal form in PE Pocket, I think. But yeah, here we first start off with Oricario in the Great League. We have the four different forms. I don't know which form is where. I know that mine is fire. The fire form is mine. I, I don't know where the other forms are. But the only thing that changes with those forms is the typing. And it's always the first typing. For example, like the electric type has no the electric type as a quick move, as a, as a first type. While the fire type is a fire as a first type. Doesn't make sense. We have the move set up. Of air slash or pound. We have the most charge move of Hurricane, Aerial Ace, or Air Cutter. Air Cutter seems to be even worse than Aerial Ace, which is an achievement on its own already. But let's take a look at what this can do right now. And we're gonna see that it seems like that the ghost type is the best type, as you have the hard answer for Scrafty here which i don't think is really what it's supposed to be because i don't think you're gonna be ever able okay i cannot even show that uh you're gonna be ever able to beat this with this thing this crafty like two shits or whatever or if they go straight for foul play what do you do here so as a ghost type you're of course weak to a the Dark Type moves of Scrafty, which I don't really think that this is the right call here. So what I think more is that the Electric Type is most likely the best for the Great League meta. Especially, yeah, like Electric Types in general are very, very rare. But the thing here is, of course, it doesn't have an Electric Type move. The reason is for this, uh, Oricorio is a special Pokemon that has a, spe a special move that had um, the typing of itself, like here you can see the different typing that it can have, but of course Niantic didn't put this move into the game yet, so it doesn't have any special move, they all have the same moves, there's nothing different by from them, they don't have a step, uh, secondary typing move, so it's basically only about resistances here right now. And for the Ultra League, we have this same scenario here again with all those in there. They all get with XL Kenny 2, like 2500, a 415 a 15 is needed. And we see here that Fire gonna be the best one, which does make sense. Like you have already Talonflame in here, which stress nearly everything, but Fire resists stuff like the Fairy type moves from Cresselia and also the um, Grass type move from Cresselia. Against the Bumble Snow, it's just better. Against most of the others, it's just a little bit better. Of course, it's never gonna be something that's needed. I might try to play this in Ultra League someday. I'm most likely gonna try to showcase it in Great League and I'm gonna look for battles again when we get this out because we won't have Great League at that time. But um, yeah. It's not something where you miss out heavily if you don't have a good one. I still think it's sad that they um, put it in different regions, but okay, that's the ethic for you. Let's go into the Tapu Lele. First, for Ultra League, we have Confusion, Psyshock, Moonblast as the recommended moveset here. The other move in the beginning would be Astonish, which is horrible. The other charge moves are Focus Burst or Future Sight. Future Sight you never want to use if you have Confusion and Psyshock already, but Focus Burst might be a good other option. Option. That's why I also put it in here. And you're gonna see in Ultra League, it is just horrible. You can beat the Greedent and the Scrafty with the Moonblast. Also the anti -Kino. Otherwise, you only beat the Greedent, which I don't even think is like um, always be the case. So in Ultra League already, Tabu Lele doesn't look that good. And let's take a look at Master League real quick. This is the level 50 Master League because currently there's nothing else available this season. And you see it goes to nearly 4000 CP, which is not very high for level 50 to be honest. But we're gonna see... Oh wait, I have to calculate this again, otherwise it would have been a spoiler for something else I want to do right now. You will see here that with the Moonblast it beats Ivalta, otherwise like everything is the same. I, I still think that the Focus Blast maybe has some more potential as a closer because you have something like the Excadrill or something like the Melmetal or something like the Dialga in the middle, which you kind of want hit by the Focus Blast anyway, so I think that might be a, the better option to be honest. Moonblast still is okay, but yeah. The thing with Tapu Lele, and which is very, very sad, and which I hope that they change maybe in the upcoming uh, season or something, is the moveset in general because Tapu Lele 
actually would have had so much potential if they just would give it charm and it learned charm in the main series game so let's take a look how good it would be with charm and we're gonna see it's so much better it's actually better if it would get charm and it's so sad that it's not like it would have been one of the best or if not the best fairy type in the game for the master league but no we just gonna screw the pokemon again with the moveset hooray yeah um I'm kind of disappointed about this, but other than this, okay. We almost like on get this, it's not confirmed, of course. We just got the move update and the code, which doesn't have to say anything. By the way, it was to expect it to be Tapu Lele next. Afterwards, we're going to get the Tapu Bulu, and afterwards, we're going to get the Tapu Fini, most likely with the other theory and forms for one week in between. That's my guess for how the season's going to go. I'm not very, like crazy to guess us to be honest but yeah that's gonna be it for the video thanks all for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day you don't need any of those pokemon really i'm still gonna showcase them on my channel of course so yeah see you then